My name is Tiana. I'm from Hollywood, Florida. I am 33. And I've basically been through a lot. <laughs> I'll just give you a little description. I grew up well with my stepdad in Cooper City, and it was a very stable home. And when my mom had divorced him, everything had fell down. I suffered from molestation from my little brother's father. I kind of had an eerie feeling about him. My mom didn't believe me. And then I tried to see a friend. Her grandpa did the same thing to me. Um, you know, like it was basically like my whole childhood. You know, like I was basically like used and abused type thing. And it went on for quite a while. Another time was we moved to another place. They were trying to perform arson, blame it on my brother. Then um, when we moved to Davie, that's when I met my little daughter's, well, my oldest daughter's father. I have six, now seven children. And um, his mom basically was like an angel. She taught me how to feminize myself, finish school. She actually helped me. I got my college diploma and college degree, um, high school diploma and college degree at a very young age, 15. So I didn't plan to be a mom at 15. I did not, despite everything I had been through, which is a lot. I've also endured health issues as well. Um, I had acute cancer. Thank God I survived it. I had epilepsy, I flatlined. Um, thank God I was revived. Um, heart issues, but like I said, I still move forward. So how I came there was I went to Driftwood Middle and I put my oldest daughter and then my son. That's when OIC was introduced to Driftwood um, Middle School and they've been nothing but a good help. And that's where I met Frady. And we kind of clicked, you know, like on where he understands me and he wanted to help me and my children besides the one that is in the program. But the program itself basically gave my son that has autism, you know, like skills and, um, you know, positive growth. So I really appreciate it. As he brought this information to the commissioner and when the commissioner found out, I guess, besides me going everywhere, I guess my information was out there. So with Frandy, it's like he gave it a bit of a push. And I was able, by God's grace, almost three years being homeless, of having a house. And for me, like, I didn't realize how much it had affected me that when I finally was sleeping in a house, I thought that, oh my God, we're in the car. Oh my God, we have to get up and pack. Or, you know, that it just had to set in that we have the house. Even my kids, like, they suffered anxiety and you know just so much because of this situation it was amazing i feel like i was dreaming i was like wow god like i cried a lot <laughs> it was amazing <laughs> i would definitely um recommend oic to anybody you feel safe you know you feel welcomed 